we're going to make some vegan rice paper bacon okay bacon let's start cooking so yeah i've uh, put the oven on on 180 degree ish celsius and i've got um, a tray ready here with some baking paper so i've been using reusable baking paper so i can just like wipe this clean which i would suggest you all to do because we all have to do our bit to um, have as little waste as possible so what we also have is rice paper this way around rice paper um this is from uh, like an asian shop so usually what you do is you dip it into warm water and then it's getting or like sort of a little bit like jelly like I've, and this is due to the um main ingredient which is tapioca and then you can like um yeah process it and usually you roll it um put stuff in it and roll it like a pancake but today we're gonna make this a little bit different um i've got a few different bits and bobs here as well so our standards which are pepper and salt salt and pepper then I've got some sunflower oil um, they said in the recipe olive oil but to be honest olive oil is quite a strong flavor and I rather have something neutral and I don't have any olive oil from so I'm going to use sunflower oil then um, where the whole kind of smokiness comes in is smoked paprika so I've got like my head sized uh, tap full of smoked paprika and there's something called um, liquid smoke hickory liquid smoke it's amazing for any kind of like um, smoky flavor you want if you like to have like a little bit of smoky chili or um, yeah and any kind of like flavor that needs uh, or any kind of food that needs some smoky flavoring use liquid smoke it's amazing and this is where we get the, the bacony kind of smokiness in i hope what i also have is my trusted nutritional yeast nutritional yeast it's not yeast per se but it's um packed with nutrients it's really really great to get your b12 in which uh, usually usually comes from um or a lot of time comes from meat but also comes from like um kelp and sea kind of um powders sea powders algae uh, algae basically um yeah high in b12 it's got this a uh, lot of zinc, it's got been, uh, B9, it's good in fiber and high in protein. Um, and then it said uh, garlic powder. I don't have powder, so I'm going to use fresh garlic. And it said maple syrup. I, again, don't have maple syrup, but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to use <laughs> golden syrup because it's all very sweet. I cannot remember how much of each I need <laughs> for this. So I'm just going to make the marinade um, by putting it all together, tasting it and then adjusting it and this is how, how I should generally cook. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to chop a couple of garlic cloves. Actually there's three so we're going to go with three because why the hell not. So I'm trying to make this um, obviously as as tightly as possible here although it's homemade so it doesn't need to it's, it's mostly for the flavor anyways and i can imagine it didn't say that but i can imagine that if you make that marinade um like a day or so um or the evening before that it will get even um better so with marinades it's usually a good um a good bet to make it other way a day or two before so we've got garlic i used three plus garlic so i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with three so i'm gonna go with three spoons of sunflower oil here mix this in a little bit and then i'm gonna add just a little bit of like salt and pepper because this is our basic everything needs a little bit of like salt and pepper and i add a little bit more salt because i want to have this taste like bacon so we want to have it a little bit salty so i'm just gonna go with like the equivalent of probably like two um tablespoons of nutritional yeast i don't want to overdo it nutritional yeast what am i saying um smoked paprika 
from all over the place. And then I'm going to use some liquid smoke. Again, I'm going to use two tablespoons of liquid smoke. Now we get the nutritional yeast, which I probably have like one and a half tablespoons. And then we're going to add some syrup, if I can manage to open this cup. Good. And I'm going to start with, um, because we obviously don't want to have like uh, masses and masses of syrup. So I'm going to start with one teaspoon of syrup and then see how this works out once I once we mix it all together. So um, at the moment it's like a quite a paste. So I'm going to add a little bit of cold water, probably so far a tablespoon full of cold water. So doesn't that look beautiful? Hope you can see this. Okay. Yeah. Mm, it smells really, really nice. Oh my god! <laughs> this is really bacony. Wow. I'm really, really impressed. This tastes really, really smoky, really, really bacony. The only thing I'm going to add is a little bit more salt because I feel at the moment it's quite, um, quite sweet. <laughs> So I'm going to add like a nice generous portion of salt, but yeah, oh my god, guys, this is amazing. So if you want a really nice, um, smoky, bacony uh, marinade for something, I tell you, it's really, really easy. It's, there's not many ingredients at all that I've put in so far, but it tastes so cool. I'm very impressed with this. Very, very impressed with this. Okay, let's give this another little mm. perfect it tastes like bacon rashes this is so good rice paper this is what it looks like um, again most of the or the main ingredient is actually tapioca and then some rice flour as well so on the instructions it said take two sheets and put them together and then I've got like lukewarm water here don't use hot water, hot water will dissolve this. Um, too cold water will do nothing to it. So it needs to be like a lukewarm water. So it's something that you would bathe your baby in basically. Um, yeah, so it says take two um, pieces and put them into lukewarm water. So I'm just gonna do this now. So this becomes now very like a jelly-like basically. So this is what I usually would use to, I'm going to wring it out a little bit because it's very, it's a bit on the side. Um, yeah. because it's very, um, yeah, so this, this is the kind of consistency it would look like, so a little bit like, like a satin glove, <laughs> yes. um, yeah, so it's, a little bit like jelly-like but still in one shape so what I'm gonna do here um, is so I've got two pieces which are sticking together now which is perfect this is what we want so I'm cutting this into like strips like this and now I've got some water here every time I need to put this on the side so and what we want to do is we want to take a brush and take our marinade and then just brush both sides before we put it on our um, baking paper and bake it and baking it takes about it says six to eight minutes so we have to watch the time um, on this so I'm just gonna do one side and then I add them onto the tray here. Ooh, they're taking up quite a bit of space, but that's okay. And then put them to the other side. Lots of marinade on the other side. So I'm going to be uh, trying to be generous here, but obviously I don't want to overdo it. And then we're going to put them in the oven and see what happens. Let's have a look. All right, so this is what our bacon looks like. It looks actually really good. I'm quite 
you probably could like play around a little bit trying to put like streaks on it but so far i'm quite impressed with what it looks like yeah so this is our rice paper bacon look at this this looks actually like um like bacon and this is because i used two um two slices of the um rice paper to put them together and then obviously they start crackling up um guys look at this how cool is this so now let's taste test it mm. it's not bad it's definitely crispy mm. it's not as smoky as i would have hoped but i didn't put as much marinade on as i did for the others Mm, but generally, with enough marinade, it's really, really close. The consistency is like, it's crunchy on the outside, but like a little bit like stretchy on the inside. I think it's a, it's a fab alternative to, um, to bacon. So much healthier, so much less cholesterol. I'm really, really impressed with this. I mean, look at this. How cool is that? And it's completely made from plants as I said there's no no pig or cow or anything in there mm. i'm very very impressed i'm very very happy with this yeah just i think there's like some adjustment um that can be made with the with the marinade um i, I love the, the the texture and flavor of it i think that's perfect um it's just about how much to apply um to make it really taste of it Thank you so much. Good night. Bye.